Hello everyone, Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm here with Dark Cloud. Now, um, some things have changed. If you haven't uh, listened to uh, some of my other videos and had the uh, scoop yet, some of my stuff's going to be different than the last episode. I don't know if my items are going to be too much different. But I'm going to have something to show. And it's inside this. You notice that I have four uh, uh, playable characters now. I have Michael, Nikita, John, and our brand new uh, character, Lady Shura. Now, um, this would have been a lot more epic if I would have been able to show, show the video that I lost. That's right, I lost a video. Uh, when I put this name in, I was thinking to myself, this is going to be amazing. But, sadly, I lost it, and so there's nothing I can do. Anyway, here's our new character here. And what, you, what else you also missed is, um, I was supposed to actually start uh, leveling her up today. Or, before I started recording, but I chose not to because I was like, well, you know, I want to uh, report my stupidity and my mess up, you know, and so here's what's going on. Basically, Lady Shura uses a ring for a weapon. Yes, that does make no sense. You'll see why in a minute. Um, another thing, um, many of my weapons are going to look slightly different, maybe. I don't know exactly. Um, I think I leveled up the sax once or twice when I was off screen. I don't know if it was that level before. Anyway, I was using the small sword for a while there, but it's not really that good of a weapon. I don't recommend it. Unless you just want to level it up for some reason, which, in that case, it is a pretty good weapon. <coughs> and, and, um, I've also been using such weapons as the crystal knife still. I don't usually use the dagger that much in the level, and the serpent sword. So, what else can I say that I screwed up on? Oh! Um... Damn it. Let's go over... Aha, that's how you do it. Let's go into the genome men menu here and check our genome analysis. Now you notice that my collection is 61%. I haven't checked the genome analysis, analysis in a while though, but it's probably smaller than that when you're last finished a recording. And um, here's what my world looks like right now. I have King's Hideout, which I didn't have before. I had Rudy's store completed. I don't know if I had that before. The sheriff's office is complete as well. I have the Joker's house, which is complete. And some trees I put over here. I don't know if I did that uh, off screen either. Now, um, some things that we need to do is we can do some more genome um, activities if we have any more houses that we need to finish. Here's Jack. There we go. Put that like that. Do we have any roads? Oh, we got a few. And yes, this is important what I'm doing here. Because you need a road to go from King's house to finish his thing. Anyway, besides that... Um, this isn't all I'm going to be doing, by the way. This is just something I'm doing right now to kind of continue to explain some stuff. So, basically, another thing that um, we got um, a problem with that you guys probably won't really care much about is that I also uh, finished a few um, you know levels here and there on the uh, dungeon and so you missed some new enemies that are probably not too bad so you probably don't care too much I'm sure but first off let's um, come over here to Jack's store and um, pick up our stuff that we got for completing his area well you know putting it down Really? 
So I'm gonna say this now. It's gonna be really funny though if I do end up finding the, um, you know, re original copies, but I doubt I will because to be able to find the original videos, I'd have to find the discs that they were saved on. And who knows where it is or which one it is either. So I'm just gonna be really careful from now on when I look, you know. Can you really be anything in there? It's a big cannon over here, which is kind of cool. Who are you? You're from out of town, huh? Okay, so I'll introduce myself. I'm Jack. I own this fine weapon shop you see before you. Have a look around. Uh, hello. Huh? So your name is Michael? You did the right thing come into my place first. But you don't know the customs, do you? If you pay someone to visit, you've got to bring them something. That's the way things work around here. Whatever. Um, do you need anything for your place? Don't forget shades and a chimney. They're important features. Okay, so now that we know that, let's go back outside. I think we have both of those. <coughs> Whew. I tell you what, guys, I haven't been feeling good lately. It kind of sucks, but I want to record this, so I'm going to still go ahead and do it. There we go. Ah, uh -huh, your place is done already. Hmm. There he is. Hey, Michael, thanks to you. Now I can reopen my store. Drop by Jack's store for weapons big and small. Oh, just so you know, I don't give gifts or anything like that. Don't get your hopes up. What? Ah, oh, I get it. I was expecting something like that. Hmm? That voice. Are you sure? The boss's wife. What are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Another thing you missed was a kind of semi-important cutscene where we got Lady Shura. Uh, what he means by the boss's wife is when, if you go back to, uh, King's house, uh, you find out that he's the one that gave you, uh, Lady Shura, more or less, so, yeah. What brings me here? What a thing to say after such a long time. Hmm, you know, it's important to show proper gratitude. If not, well, it's going to be like that. I might start getting upset. I understand, Miss Lady Sure. Uh, anything you need, it's yours. Why don't you come up with something you've got a brain, don't you? Use it. Uh, yeah, understood, Miss Lady Sure. Wait here just a second. <laughs> Mike's he's like, uh. Sorry to keep you waiting, Miss. Big Buck's hammer acquired. Oh, cool! This is for you, Miss Lady Sure. It's a platinum ring. Hmm. Very common, isn't it? Ah, uh, we'll do for now. This is it for today. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, now if you uh, look at both of those weapons real quick. One of them is for uh, John here, of course. Big Buck's hammer. Magical hammer struck... Um, stroking it makes you rich. Okay. Anyway, um, like it says, it has the, uh, special big bucks. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'll explain it. Basically, what it means is, every time you kill an enemy, you're guaranteed a lot more money than before. Um, it also has really nice attack power, too has no elements on it, and also has no uh, anti-mimic on it, that's about it. Uh, basically the only thing you need to know about this weapon is that it can be built up to two other weapons, but I think if you build it up it loses its special, so you gotta consider that before you go ahead and build it up. Also, um, I recommend definitely using it for a while if you ever need cash. And also, let's look at the platinum ring since I forgot to. 
Alright, Platinum Ring. Um, attack is 17 as opposed to 14. Endurance though is 40 instead of 41. The speed is the same, and the magic is a lot more. However, it doesn't look like it has a attribute. Oh yeah, it does. It's, I didn't see it at first. It's ice. Okay, so, um... When do we need to build this up? A lot more attack, a lot more magic, probably, and holy element, and that's it. Or... We need attack, speed, and magic, wind and holy, and nothing else. So, um, I could look it up real quick on what each one is, but I'm not going to do that, so don't worry about that. I'll do it off screen after I'm done with this episode. Let's equip that for a while, because that could be useful. Yeah, basically, um, you also missed out on a new, um, thing in the, uh, dungeon, which is that, what that ring is going to become important for. But, um, we're not actually going to go to the Queen's Dungeon, you know what I mean, the, um, no oh, grass cake. There we go. We're not going to be going to, uh, the shipwreck today because I want to make sure to, uh, level up my characters a little bit. And trust me, that is important. You could probably go to um, Wise Owl Forest to do it now. Now that we're at higher level and everything, we could probably get away with coming here to do it. I'd say maybe the. What about the third floor? We'll do that one. episode that I made that got lost. I showed off everything there is to show off with the, about this character, her attacks and all that. But basically, ow, damn it, that was unfair. Basically, here's how your attack works. If you tap X or just barely hold it, she'll throw a bigger um, element. If you just tap it, she'll kind of chunk a small one at the enemy. That does a little bit less damage, but it's a lot faster. I'm trying to get this money before I get killed. Before it disappears. But yeah, for these enemies, you can tell she's just wrecking them. Like, there's nothing. But if you actually take her into the shipwreck, she gets her ass handed to her. So just keep that in mind before you decide to go there. <coughs> now, the um, I need to go over how to get this character, too. After finishing uh, King's house in um, Queens, all you have to do is go talk to him. He'll, uh, you have a little cutscene where he um, talks to you about what to give you. And you're like, well, um, I don't know what I want, basically. And he's like, oh, I know, I'll give you this. And hand you a lamp. And you're like, um... No, that's okay, I don't need a lamp. And he's like, no, you have to take it. Because he wants to get rid of it, of course. And then whenever you uh, try to pick it up, you drop it, causing Lady Shura here to be summoned. <coughs> and then um, what happens from there is um, uh, she comes out and says, like, who called me? And like talks to uh, the character King saying that it's him that did it and he's like no it wasn't me and so she thinks that it's his two minions and so she talks to them and they're like no we didn't do it either and then she looks at you and says oh so it was you who did it and so basically it goes on like that you know I think it said it was too big of a jump or something like that for her which is kind of funny because I think she has long enough legs that she'd be able to easily make that jump yeah, basically, for the most part, you have to be there to understand it, but I wish I could show it off again, but sadly it's impossible for me to do so. Let me 
me see if I can show off the charge attack for this. <laughs> I missed them. There we go. Yeah, to charge attack, all it does is do a little bit more damage and look cooler. That's it. I guess the only reason why you wouldn't want to train here instead of somewhere else is that you have to, you know, find all three keys, which can kind of suck. At least for the most part, you get free items, which is kind of nice. So I'm sure you can like go like all through this place without running out of, um, you know, weapon energy. There we go. Yeah, she's just like killing these things like in a few hits. It's possible. I think it'd be better actually to go to a higher level than I thought. You know, because I thought, well, maybe this would be the best level to go to because you know you're able to uh, take on enemies that are going to be weaker than you, but that can also mean that you get less experience. Another thing that sucks about Lady Shore is she gets thirsty a lot faster than everybody else, which, eh. It's a good reason to buy more tasty water instead of the premium water, because it would be a waste on her to use that. Heck, you can even go back to the first town and buy, um, you know... Literally, uh, regular water, you know? I think you can find, uh, gourds for her in the, uh, Mataki village. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure you can find them around eventually. Oh! By the way, I want to show off something else. Um, basically, I've been using ice for this entire time. Let's use fire for a little bit, just to show off the difference. If I can find another enemy to kill. Here we go. If you notice, she's now throwing fireballs instead of ice. Uh, like hail, I guess you could call it. Another good way to level up would be to take her back here, if you have any sundew, which I don't think I do. Yeah, I gave it to that one guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if I got that on screen, but the gift for uh, finishing um, Rudy's Fish Market or whatever, you know, is just get a dungeon item. You know, you get the dungeon item flapping fish. And that's it, basically. So, it's not really... It's not really that great of a gift, if you ask me. And then she opens her store so you can buy items from her. Can I just change to, uh... Kita here? He <laughs> should've just been satisfied with being fish bait. <laughs> can dodge pretty well. Well, sometimes anyway. I wonder what it's vulnerable to. Fire? No way. He's not a plant, right? I think we'll get a prickly when we beat him. Maybe he turns into a prickly. Now he turned into a shiny stone. <laughs> I don't know why I'm killing stuff with that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using Nikita here. Not that it really matters, I mean, I could use to level up all my characters. Oh, that was a waste. Anyway. Now, I guess if you really wanted to, after you're clearing all the enemies, you could just leave the dungeon completely if you don't... Um, if you don't want to walk to the door, since you don't have to worry about going to the next floor after beating an entire dungeon. But, of course, that's up to you, you know. It doesn't matter if you do it or not, so, yeah. I always like giving them the item afterwards.
fact, there is something I want to try, so I'm going to leave the dungeon temporarily real quick. Okay. So here in Mitaki Village, um, let's see, what is, that, what is it that I wanted to do? I do want to stop by the uh, shop real quick. <laughs> Thinking about it, we could probably buy the Wise Owl Sword now if we wanted to. No real reason to do it. I mean, I don't think we, we may not have enough money for it, but I think you could easily get a hands on it now. Like, literally, by the time that I was able to get it, it was pointless to have it at that time. So, I mean, you know, it's up to you if you think you really need it or not. Okay, so... We're actually pretty well stocked on items for the most part. Except if we wanted to, we could buy some bread, I guess. Yeah, never mind. Seriously, I thought there was something that we needed to grab, but I guess not. Let's look around for some treasure chests to see if they appeared. For the most part, um, after you've collected them all, they don't usually reappear, but it's always a good idea to just look anyway, you know? Sorry about that. That's probably getting really annoying. Yeah, I don't really see any. Well, there's one more thing I want to do anyway, so let's go to another area. We should have enough time to do this. Remember those old floors in the Div Divine Beast Cave that we used to have so much trouble with? Let's go to one of them. Alright, let's go to number 10. that weapon now that weapon's kind of useless right now it's just the uh after repairing it it's just the sax the main reason why i picked this floor because there shouldn't be many bats on it for one thing oh crap they don't get hit by that that's a curse yeah look at that we just one shot of those ha <laughs> Yeah, it's really fun to come back to these areas after you've, like, leveled up a whole bunch, you know, and just one-shot enemies. There is a freaking bat, isn't there? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he managed to poison me. Ah, uh, yeah, what do you know? <laughs> Damn me and my luck. Potato cake. <sighs> Choose one of my antidotes that I've bought so many of. Now, if you don't know what I'm looking for, I'm just seeing if I can get lucky to find some tram oil. Give someone else a chance here, shall we? He seems to be strong against fire, which is no big deal, like I said, because even if an enemy is strong against them, you can still kick their butt. I'm actually having good luck not finding any um, mimics here so far. Definitely strong and 
fire. It seems like most of the enemies here are strong against fire. Let's see, what else do we have then? Uh, we got some wind. Let's try that. Throbbing cherry. Still have no tram oil. I really want to show the back rooms of these areas because they look really cool. <coughs> of course, I won't probably be able to because it's getting so darn difficult to find the stuff. You'd think in the first dungeon you'd be able to find it like easily, but no. Like I said before, um, when I first played this game, we found it like almost immediately, and now I'm not finding it at all. You know, it's kind of interesting. Oh, seven. That's still not bad, though. For what I would suspect, you know. Nice. A bone key, that's great. Oh yeah, there's a few enemies left. Yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about, guys. Um, for the most part, I've caught up you, caught you up with everything that's been happening. I'm very happy to see the uh, amount of people I've had watch my stuff lately. I gotta admit to that. I mean, my Spyro videos are getting like five views at like a week almost. Well, not like, you know, at a time, but like within a week I got five views on them, which is kind of nice. Since Michael's weapon can't carry anymore, it's probably, uh, <laughs> the hell of a linebacker. <laughs> just a bat on second glance. He's a bit cute, don't you think? This guy's just target practice. Leave him alone, let's move on. This cave looks deep. Don't waste wind on him. <laughs> I got a rock. Lord knows a jazzy name, huh? Let's dance. Michael's bag is mysterious, isn't it? How so? Full of items? It says I got 60 out of 60. Holy crap, that's amazing. Hmm. Let's see if there's any weapons that need to be repaired. Like, badly. Here we go. That one does. Oh, that's no, something I meant to press. I need to like sell some junk. I haven't done anything to this one, have I? Doesn't look like it. Let's get rid of it. Let's see what's in this. Nah. I keep hoping that I find a um, sandbreaker. There's this weapon in this game called the sandbreaker. It's a very rare find, and um, it was a great starter weapon, though. I mean, like when I first used it, I was like probably like one to three sh shooting most enemies, you know? So you gotta give them that. What does the skeleton need a jacket for? Is he, like, cold? He must have picked up that outfit out of guard sale. Yo, take that punk's jacket when we're through with him. <laughs> Master jacket and skeleton. Fashion suits! <laughs> 
Looks like a salvage job. Sense. Why do I have to be a slingshot? Why not send a short fully automatic firearm? Wait, what? Ah, I I canceled that. It looked like he said like something about his name. Risky to do that. Anyway, that's the last enemy in here. It looks like so. Um, in the next episode, I'm I'm gonna probably um, try and level up her platinum ring a little bit and um, get back to you. Till then, bye.